Hello y'all, this is Ned. And this is Michelle. And we are... Philippine Dreams. That's right. In the first part of this two-part groundbreaking series, we discussed some of the living expenses that we had incurred for the month of July in the year of our Lord 2014. Rents, utilities, food, whatnot. Those expenses came out to about $787 for the entire month. In this part of the series, we're going to be talking about some of the incidental, odd, unexpected expenses that we incurred that month. Um, those came to a total of $271, I believe, mm -hmm. without referring to my cheat sheet, um, <laughs> which brought us actually to a grand total of $1,058 for the entire month, which is pretty good. That two se uh, $271 we're actually going to break down right now very quickly. First off, um, I had a doctor's appointment that I had mm -hmm. to go to. That doctor's appointment was 500 pesos, mm -hmm. which is about $11. And I actually, I actually took a video um, of a trip that I made to Silomon Medical Center recently. And we'll be putting that up so you can see what a Philippines hospital looks like. Um, I also bought, because we had moved into the house, so I bought some tools. Um, we got some cheap Chinese tools from Unitop. Uh, the hammer was broken. I don't, know how, I don't know how they make a broken hammer, but it was broken. <laughs> so that was only 10 bucks. I got some office supplies, um, SD card. The SD card was like 500 pesos, which is 11 bucks. The office supplies were about the same, $11. We had to bring Michelle's scooter in for servicing. Um, mm -hmm. That was a grand total of $2.17, I believe, 100 pesos. Um, the big incidental cost that we had that month was we bought one of those big uh, two burner gas stoves. Yes. Yeah, we bought a big two burner gas stove, which was $66. Um, they don't really have like oven ranges like we have in the West here. Mm -hmm. People cook on uh, LPG, is it? Yes, LPG. Liquid propane gas, I think that stands for. Um, it's more efficient, it's hotter, and electricity again costs a hell of a lot here. So to be running electric burners or whatnot can really add up. Yeah, it's also, um, I think it's more effective because um, we have lots of brownouts here in the Philippines. and when we have brownouts, we can't cook. Yeah, and if a <laughs> Filipino can't cook rice, man, there's going to be hell to pay. <laughs> it's going to be like revolution and insurrection, mobs in the street. Um, so we bought that. That was $66. We also had to get a giant ass um, gas tank mm -hmm. for it, a uh, regulator, hose, all that stuff. And the gas tank, I think, was close to $66 itself because you have to give a deposit mm -hmm. on the gas tank. Otherwise, everybody will be stealing everybody else's gas tanks. Um, curtain material, you can see our curtains behind us, we just picked up the rest of them today. That was $8, the curtain, making the curtain was 360 pesos, about $8. In this afternoon it's um, 450 that's about how much? It's $9? No, Ten? 11 I know. <laughs> 10 bucks. 10 bucks to make, anyways, we'll, we'll show you that some other time. Um, what else do we have on our cheat sheet? And we bought some clothes like flip-flops and sunglasses and stuff. So anyways, all that stuff, all the incidental charges came to $271. Um, oh, the furniture. So yeah, we got the bamboo furniture. Yeah. The bamboo furniture, we got a sofa, a table, two chairs, and a table. The table for the dirty kitchen, which is in the house for some reason. <laughs> uh, all that came to $66 as well. And we had a uh, varnish of dark color. And we're going to finish the video on our furniture acquisition at some point. Um, and we'll be showing that. So that added to it. So again, it was $271. Now, incidental, odd, unexpected expenses can really add up. If you are in a medical uh, dilemma, if you are in an accident or whatnot, and you get brought into a hospital, you're basically going to have to pay your entire hospital bill out of your own pocket. Unless you're European and you guys have one of those great socialized uh, medical systems like we don't have in the U.S., um, and you guys get like travel insurance and stuff, you have to pay for that out of your own pocket. Um, so that can really add up. Medications in particular can really add up. Seeing the doctor isn't that much. Uh, 500 pesos, 300 pesos for, for an office visit to a doctor. But if you get caught up in something really bad, um, those unexpected uh, expenses can really add up. Plus, if, you, if you're the type of person like I am that makes impulsive purchases sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, hey, look, a laptop, I want it. Or a tablet, I must have a new tablet. Or, ooh, that phone's cool. Um, those can really add up. And there's been months that I've done that to we're at the point where, what, I have four phones? 
I don't know how many phones you've got. I, Apple, two, two iPhones. Yeah, got four phones. Anyways, so I got this phone collection. That stuff can add up. So it's good to track that stuff and keep an eye on that stuff. Um, living expenses, if you're just, you know, just for the food, the rent, the utilities, it's not so bad. But there's always going to be those incidental expenses. You know, stuff's going to break. You're going to lose things. You're going to have to replace it. And that stuff's going to add up. And the big thing also is gas. Fuel here is very expensive. Even if you get a diesel vehicle like I do, that stuff adds up. So you try to limit that and uh, curtail that. All right. So we're going to be continuing to track our expenses month to month. Next update will be September 1st. They're about. Um, and it's good because, again, it helps you guys out and gives you some indication of, you know, how expensive or, you know, what you can spend here and live pretty well. Do we live okay? We're living okay. Yeah, we're living okay. Nothing great. Um, like I said, we just came back from Jollibee's. We're living large. <laughs> Any more Jollibee's in my cholesterol level will be so high. But anyways, um, and what was I talking about? Do you remember? We are talking about the, <laughs> about the expenses, of course. You were giving them the... I got sidetracked. <laughs> yes, of course, you were always... You gotta keep track of where I'm, what's going on here. It's my personal assistant. She's supposed to be keeping track of this. Uh, All right. So, anyways. <laughs> so that's about. I'm it. not even gonna bother to edit this out. So that's about it. Um, yeah, the unexpected, the incidental stuff can can add up. But you know, living here is pretty cheap. We we live okay. I we're think that's where we were. Okay. We were doing yeah. okay. We're not living extravagantly, but we're good. Um, so we'll keep. To, we'll continue to update. Check out www.myphilippine dreams.com because that's our new website you can find some um, cool stuff to download there I'll be adding to it and you can find a detailed iteration or a detailed list of all our expenses that we incurred in July uh, with that said um, if you have any comments gripes bits complaints anything leave it in the comment section uh, if you're interested in getting updates as we move along in the process click the subscribe button and this is Ned and this is Michelle. And we'll see you next time on Philippine Dreams. Oh man, okay, good. I got totally lost.